learn. Don't give up, keep moving. I finally did it. I did something good in my life. They see us as girls that we don't really know what we're up against. So we're gonna prove them wrong. And the award goes to... There's someone standing behind you, Jeff. Yeah, I hear she's very intelligent. She's, she's going to change the world, I hear. <laughs> well, Darren, uh, Daniela, good morning from Las Vegas. Uh, thank you for talking to me about Own the Room, streaming on Disney Plus, uh, March 12th. Uh, well, Darren, you know, five students uh, traveled to Macau, China for one of the most prestigious competitions. What can you tell me about Own the Room? Yeah, I mean, Own the Room uh, follows five incredible students uh, and their business ideas uh, on a journey to a business pitch competition, the Global Student Entrepreneur Awards, which is uh, one of the most prestigious uh, pitch competitions out there. And, you know, these are sort of vital uh, competitions for people with new businesses and looking to raise capital to get their ideas off the ground. Uh, and, you know, it was really inspiring for us to, you know, see these five students from disparate corners of the globe uh, take their idea and try to make them fly. Um, so, uh, you know, no better example than Daniela here. And Daniela, how did you hear the competition and how difficult was it to be selected? Well, I heard about the competition. They were talking about it at NYU. It was for students who were starting a business as well. So I seemed like the right candidate for it. I went to the original competition, but I, I honestly think I didn't know exactly what I was signing up for. The first time they told me that I didn't have to just pitch my business, but also my story and why I was there. That was very challenging for me. I'm a little bit shy with my, with my life story. So, so, you know, it was complicated to get through to the point where you share that with a room full of strangers at the moment. So after, after winning the regional, they brought me to the national competition in Denver. And when I won that competition and they told me that I was going to represent the United States, it just, it blew my mind. It filled my heart with so much honor. And I felt so blessed and so lucky to have that opportunity. After that, you'll have to watch the film to see everything that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and Darren, tell me about Selecting your five students for the documentary, what was that process like? Yeah, I mean, it's always the most challenging part of, uh, you know, a documentary like this is trying to figure out who your characters are. First of all, you know, you want a good representation of like, of, you know, the kinds of businesses that are being started up around the world and uh, the students that are coming from different backgrounds and, you know, and corners of the globe. Uh, but, you know, also you want to have uh, people that, you know, uh, have a chance of winning. And so, uh, you know, you make a lot of bets and, you know, fortunately we made some good bets with uh, Daniela and a few of the other students that are featured. Uh, and uh, you'll have to see what happens, but, uh, you know, there's, there's some happy moments at the end there. You guys are keeping so many secrets here today. <laughs> and Daniela, how is your idea going to change the world? Uh, directed the, at the chemical industry? Yes. If you don't know this, about half of our raw materials every year go to waste in the chemical industry. And that metric really blew my mind. The chemical industry is actually the third most polluting industry in the world. And I wanted to change that. So I came to the US to do a PhD to develop more sustainable technologies for this industry. I started with the idea of solar powered chemicals, which we'll see on the film. And now we have actually expanded beyond that. And we are commercializing AI platforms which I used to develop that nylon process, but now they are targeting all of the processes throughout the chemical industry and allow you to increase sustainability throughout it much faster. Sounds like a plot for a movie. You know, someone's gonna steal your formula. So make sure you guard it carefully. <laughs> and Darren, I love Science Fair. It's just one of my favorite films that year. And uh, what keeps you coming back to science? You know, I, it's a good question. I mean, I love science. I, I studied science as a bio major in college and it's, you know, uh, and I'm just really, in, you know, especially now uh, when science is the solution to our biggest problem, uh, it's hard to ignore. And I think it gets, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, short shrift in, 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 in coverage and, and how important it is to, you know, uh, our, our world and our future. Uh, so, you know, being able to sort of focus on stories like Daniela's for, for us is just, uh, you know, it's really rewarding uh, from a storytelling point of view. 
And finally today, Daniela, your mom was front and center in this in this series, and she's been so supportive of you. And also, did you make lifelong friends at this competition? Yes, of course, of course. This competition allowed me to really tell the world the story behind the woman who has done everything for me, and that means the world to me. I feel incredibly lucky to be able to do that. Beyond that, this competition let me meet so many brilliant entrepreneurs who I admire and respect from the bottom of my heart. I think that when you watch this show, this film, you'll see that everyone has such a powerful story behind them that you just want to root for everyone around you and you want to be their friends. So I am very, very lucky I got to meet all of them and we're still in touch. So I, I feel very fortunate for that. Well, Darren, Daniela, thank you for joining me this morning. Own the Room streaming on Disney Plus on March 12th. Thank you for something positive in the future to look forward to. So good luck, Daniela, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much.